Well, you say what happened to a 71-year-old teenager on their birthday? Do their brain cell decay, spill out, or what? Well, Patrick Foster Kitchen is here, and my question is, what can you do with leftover rice? What can you create with plain white leftover rice? Well, I'm here to show you what has been created, and you can see if you can take a guess of what this rice spicy balls are made out of. And yeah, send me the bill. I'll send you the bill for being so creative. And then, uh, you know, we'll see where the restaurant is. The address is going to be five star. And I'll see if I can let you in. This is the mash of the plain rice mixed with some fried rice grated carrot, some four eggs, uh, mayonnaise, some bread, leftover bread to bond the rice together, some spices. I've used some chicken bouillon, put a little yellow strong mustard, some mayonnaise, and a little bit of Masala, very little, just to give it that kick. And as you can see, this goes from this to this. You tell me what you think. What you think now? What you think of 70 minus 1? It's a one-year-old creative teenager in the kitchen. And I've set my oven to 350. I'll put it in the oven, maybe 15, 20 minutes for it to glaze over. Maybe 15, 20 minutes for it to glaze, harden. And later on when I take it out, I'm going to put some, maybe rub it with some brown uh, recipe, I mean uh, syrup. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, I put chorizo hot sauce. All right, enjoy with your eyes. If you like it, uh, just enroll in my academy. Culinary College, Patrick Five Star Culinary College, soon to be opened, uh, address to be an Well, indeed it's my seven one. Bad day, subtract 70 from 71. You're finding yourself, and you're looking at yourself at a one year old teenager. 70s history god has already bound that book and yes it's been a wonderful wonderful journey he's been faithful he's been good he's blessed he's blessed i have no complaint whatsoever so as, as i journey into the bonus years i'm looking forward to having many many wonderful occasions both to create to pray to worship to love and just to reflect well Many of you might be wondering, or even thinking, oh, I wish I would have sent him a birthday gift. Well, you can do that. I'm having a drive. You go to my Facebook, you're going to see a rickshaw for Chad. I've set October as the month in which I want to raise the uh, give and take 3500 to buy a rickshaw for my son DJ in Chad. A difficult nation to both work, to minister. It's a nation, not that they hate each other, but uh, Muslims and Christians are challenged, especially when it comes to education, to technology. So my first challenge initially was to send computers to uh, equip the school, but because of security reason, I couldn't travel last year. And now there's a request for over 60 uh, computers plus the rickshaw to allow income to be generated to support uh, DJ's family and other families that he's working with. 
They always say, give somebody a fish the next time around, a fishing rod, point them to the lake and tell them goodbye. Next time I see you, it shall be fried fish and whatever else you want it to go with. So that's basically what the intent of the gift for the rickshaw is. I'm sending, I've been sending supporting DJ, so I am giving him a fishing rod to both support his family and the first rickshaw should be able to lead to a second and a third and, a pl and employment maybe for some young people. So do you want to gift me a birthday gift? Go to my Facebook page. You're going to see the ratio. There's my number there. If you already know my number, you can sell me the money. Once we meet the target of 3500 the drive shall stop. But if you so feel led, uh, that money can be saved towards the transportation of those computers, which most likely will be happening next year. I was blessed to meet the director of Restore uh, Thrift Store in Randolph, a new lady called Kim, and we talked about sourcing computers by truckload to make the possibility of sending the 60 computers to Chad and where else, uh, wherever else they might be needed in Africa accordingly. So the best gift you can send me for my birthday, Zell. And just put a memo that it, that's for the rickshaw for Chad. Once the money and the goals have been reached, and I hope that will be uh, most likely the first or the second week of October, the money shall be sent to Chad. I shall receipt it on the Facebook for all to know where your money went. And once the rickshaw is bought, likewise you find and get a video of the rickshaw and how it's been used. You've been a blessing in my life, I, however, and how we met our journey, be it at work, on the community. I'm still traveling on. Like I said, I'm a one-year teenager looking for a lot of fun, a lot of fun, blessing to myself, but to others too. So I sign off from Patrick Five Stack Kitchen. Like you see, I'm still creative. Enjoy the recipe. And you turn it to your preferred taste, flavor, and seasoning. The only building block is leftover rice, whatever, fried, plain, whatever else you want to make the mash from. You can do celery, carrot, whichever way you want to do it. You can do hot dogs or you can do brown beef or chicken or turkey. Just make sure... You make me aware so that I, I can send you the bill for my creative moment. Love you. Blessing. Patrick Mwindi, first uh, chicken, uh, kitchen signing off. Bye-bye.